Hi, and welcome to your Neurovision tutorial videos. Today we're going to take you through a couple of different analysis examples to help you better get an understanding of how the different scores work and what the heat map stands for. We have three different files uploaded today, two images and one video, and we will go through the three different examples to help you better understand what the scores mean and how they represent in the visual stimuli that you upload. Now, if we start from the right, we can have a look at the first image. The first image is, as you can see, quite a simple ad from Bin Them, which is a, a Dublin ad for the cigarette butts that they want to get out of the streets. It is something that is simple in terms of the level of information, which can be seen both on the heat map attending mostly these three places, so they will connect the language to the actual visual, and also from the cognitive demand, which is telling us that the image in itself is very easy to process. We also see from the clarity score that it is easy to process. It's high on clarity, making sure that everyone will see the same features in the image as there are mainly just two elements attracting attention. This is a way to make sure that you send a clear message which can be processed in just seconds and people can still take away what you try to tell them. Now, if we go to the second image, we have one which is a little more information filled. You can see a lot is going on in this image in terms of different people, uh, robots, cars, and also some text together with a subtext and a brand. Now, you would expect that Alpha, who is the brand behind this, which is a telecommunication brand, wanted to make sure that people understand this is coming from them. If we take a look at the heat map first, we can see that the heat does not go to the branding area. So people will be drawn to the robot, the car area with the two people, and the movies are moving in. We will have some who look at the center of the phone bottom and also to the text in the very bottom, but this will definitely be the latest features to attend for the customers. So in general, what we're seeing here is that these three elements will be pulling pretty much 80 to 90% of the attention in the screen. Together with this, 0% of attention really goes to the brand telling us that Alpha is definitely not going to be remembered and we will end up having people knowing that movies are moving in and it's coming from a phone. Therefore, it must be a video provider or a, uh, a streaming offer of some kind through the phone. At the same time, we can also see on our cognitive demand score over here that we're getting into the yellow, which is where we need to think of the information that we're giving to people. As soon as we touch yellow, it, became, it becomes a little more information filled. If we go all the way to red, we end up in an overload information. So therefore, whenever it's yellow, think of it, see if there's anything we can clean out. We could potentially take away some of the details which are not needed to make the image cleaner. At the same time, the clarity is also dropping into the yellow because too many features are attracting attention at the same time. This means that some people will attend the movies are moving in and this piece, some will attend here and this piece, and some will go other places. But most of the people will not go to this area, which is the bottom, and most likely one of the most important areas, the actual brand sending the message. If we take the final example of the video, we can see here that this is from Dell. It is an XPS video about a Dell computer, and it is quite a simple video, but let's try to go through it. We click on the heat map function to see the actual heat map, and this is what's telling us where people's attention will go. Together with that, we have our clarity over time, and we also have our cognitive demand over time. Now you can see this one place, the clarity drop down. It is very briefly, so it's not going to have a huge effect, but it's definitely something to look at if we want to make sure people are attending the same areas. This is still in the green since it is above the 65. Let's have a look at the actual video. 
Now, as you can see, when we go through the video, the attention is mostly drawn towards the center. That is often what happens on videos, but in this video especially, it is very focused on the attention to the center since everything happens in the center of the screen. And as you can see, the product and the brand has not been shown at any time yet. We're at 20 seconds now, and the heat map has been attending different features, different uh, electronic compartments and things like that, but nothing has been shown of the actual product or brand. And that's what we see here at the end. Of course, the end of it is very simple. So the XPS will definitely be seen. The Dell brand in itself doesn't stand out that much. And that's something to keep in mind if you want to make sure that people should connect the Dell to the XPS in case they don't know the XPS by itself. This is something to keep uh, out for and make sure you really attend. And of course, one thing to also keep in mind is that the XPS or the Dell should definitely be in the first five seconds of this ad to ensure that people would ever take away that it is a brand of interest who is sending this message. On the other hand, we have our cognitive demand and clarity scores, both of them very, very clear. So the actual messaging, the actual ad is very easy to process, but the branding effect might be too low because it doesn't happen until the 25th second, which is very much at the end of it. Now, these were three different examples from today, and I hope these were helpful. We wish you all the best with our Neurovision solution and never hesitate to reach out. Thank you.